Hey, I hope you're having a good day. We're going to talk about Aptera and the um, DC fast charging and their cooling system. Can that handle it? Um, let, let's talk about that. Now, we're going to talk about their their cooling system because actually can that cooling system handle it? And let's let's take a look at what um they brought out. Uh let's let's take a listen to this what they brought out here. Explanation. First, the great news. Every Aptera will launch with DC fast charging, capable of a minimum of 40 kilowatts continuous up to 60. Now to the explanation. You may recall from Chris's campaign earlier this year to lobby Tesla to release their NAX plug for public use. Um, before that was done, the only option Aptera had was the SAE combo plug, a very big plug. Uh, you've probably seen it in the video that he did. And it's a very difficult problem to package on the vehicle. And that's why we always wanted the Tesla plug. So because we didn't have line of sight for that, and because we didn't want to package that big combo connector, we paused the development. On and he's right about that. Um, they didn't have line of sight since he, Chris, had actually started that and they, they paused on it about a year ago. But um, I remember producing a video about the Tesla charger being open and opened up for everybody that wants to use it. And now they're calling it the North American charging standard that I actually got that information on November the 11th. And that's when I came out with a video about it. So they didn't know they was actually going to be a part of that. As a matter of fact, it was still up in the air. And so November 11th, when that came out, they probably wasn't even thinking about DC fast charging, although they should have been, but they probably was going to bring that back later. All right. DC fast charging, but we've already been working on fast charging for over a year. And in one of the earliest prototypes PDUs uh, that we have here, I can show you where it goes. So one of the first things you notice is on this prototype, it's made out of uh, folded welded sheet metal, uh, sheet aluminum. Uh, the production version is high pressure die cast, so it's very lightweight, low cost, dimensionally stable. But what I want to show you is the place and the holes for the fast charge contact that actually go right in here. And the bus bars have already been designed and formed. And they take you down to the DC fast charge connector, which will actually go right there. Another orange connector, high voltage connector right there. So even in this early, early prototype, one of the first PDUs that were built, we had uh, the packaging and everything for DC fast charging built in. Now, why 40 to 60 kilowatts? Why can't we just say a number? Well, at a minimum, the heating from all of the bus bars that we have, um, 40 kilowatts is below the limit. Uh, but, you know, as as current goes up, the losses go up with I square R. And so the sizes of the bus bars and the cables and everything need to increase. And so we don't want to add too much copper because it adds weight and that adds cost. So through validation, we'll see how, how higher we can get above 40 kilowatts. But uh, I believe it's a 40 kilowatt minimum, perhaps up to 60 kilowatts after validation. It's really exciting that every launch edition of Terra will already have the technologies incorporated in them to be compatible with the supercharger network, the nation's largest DC fast charge network. It's really because of the will of our supporters and the 40,000 signatures we got on a petition to the U.S. government to make the Tesla NAC standard a nationwide standard that we now have available a four to 600 mile per hour charge for our launch edition vehicles. It's exciting and I think it'll make road trips and everything you want to do with your early Aptera just that much more amazing. Really want to thank you guys for all the feedback. Um, it was pretty consistent and um, 
pretty overwhelming. So uh, we took it to heart and we decided to turn back on this program that we had paused months ago. Okay. All right. So, I mean, it's good to see that they're going to come out with the DC fast charging. And we know that uh, the current that's going to be running through there is actually going to produce a lot of heat. And so how are they going to keep that cool? And this is how they're going to do it. And we know it'll handle 40 kilowatts. So they're going to do it actually through this aluminum belly pan that they have. They got uh, coolant running through the skin of the body of this vehicle that will actually dissipate the heat and keep it nice and cool because they got to keep the motor's cool, they got to keep the battery pack cool, and they have to keep the interior of the vehicle cool as well. Um, are they going to be able to do that? Well, the design that they have is this right here. Very ingenious design they came out with that they actually use. There is, it's called the uh, skin cooling, and... We'll let him talk about it here. Sufficient solar electric vehicle on the planet. And with this in mind, we are always looking for ways to improve the design to keep the drag as low as possible. In older designs, Captera mimicked aircraft radiator systems to keep the drag low. But that wasn't enough. Captera found a way to eliminate the radiators completely. To dissipate heat, Aptera circulates coolant through biologically inspired channels throughout its skin. This allows the vehicle's exterior to serve as a radiator and also allows the cooling system to produce zero drag without the extra weight, cost, and energy of fans. This is just one example of many that Aptera has changed the way we move from one location to the next in a more efficient and sustainable way. Reserve your Aptera today. So here we see that in the earlier design, they had uh, an airplane radiator type design, which wasn't sufficient enough. So they came out with the skin cooling design and that really helps out a lot, but it looks like they are probably going to have to do more tests, more R&D, and make sure that that's gonna be the case. Because remember in this video, in the part that I showed you, it looks like they were actually, so it looks like they are going to right there, do 40 to 60 kilowatt onboard charger. So they got to figure out how much more they can get out of that without it being overwhelming the coolant system that they have set up already uh, will it be enough uh, I don't know can they can they get it to where we can practically get even more kilowatts well like I said they have to do research and make sure that they can accomplish that because if they overwhelm the system and it can't do it then they're gonna eventually end up with something that we all don't want and that's thermal runaway on the battery pack and it could catch on fire like a lot of EV companies have been having problems with uh, like uh, GM so <laughs> yes we want Tesla to succeed but we want to make sure they don't put anybody in danger as well and we also know Aptera is going to take care of their people they're always looking out for us and they're going to make sure that we have the best possible vehicle on the road Yes, thank you, Aptera. You guys are awesome. You rock. You never let us down. So we're looking forward to when this beautiful vehicle steps on the road and we get to be a part of it. Yep, very soon we'll be able to drive this baby around. Yes, I'm getting very excited for this and I hope you are too. So once again, I give a shout out to my Patreons. How you guys doing today? I hope you're having a good one. And I know you're getting excited just like I am. And if you're new here, you can actually look at my link below and you can um, use that link to get $30 off your app, Terra. You could either use it to get the limited edition that's coming out or the launch edition, or you can use it to design your own. So that would be good if you want to do that. But y'all take care. And I know app Terra is going to 
take the world by storm and you guys actually have a good one. Don't forget to smash that like, ring the bell, and subscribe. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.